So in today's video, I'm going to take a few minutes to explain 10 simple tips that you can implement into your life today to help you start working toward and achieving your health and fitness goals. So let's go ahead and get started. So our first tip today is to start small and build up. A lot of people work uh, like at the beginning of the new year, make all these goals and they take on so much that they get overwhelmed and then they don't work toward anything. Also, they try to implement so many things all at once or they try to take on too much too soon or just you get the point what i'm getting at is start with trying to make one simple change at a time or two very small ones like drinking more water or having more vegetables and work from those so for example i had a client one time um had trouble drinking enough water so we just focused on increasing her water intake by one water bottle um, every day. So she was already drinking once, we encouraged her to drink two, and then after that we would just increase from there until we got it to at a level that was appropriate for her size. And I also had a gentleman who didn't like eating vegetables, and so we just focused on trying different vegetables in different ways they were prepared in order to find ways to implement them, or we figured out recipes where we could hide them in foods, which I still use those today because I'm not a big veggie person, but you figure out a way to make it happen. But the big thing is start small, master that and then build up on there okay and then it becomes real it doesn't become this overbearing burden to care okay number two drink water our bodies are made primarily of water and it's also used to facilitate um, multiple systems in our body so if we are not staying hydrated it actually affects our energy levels our ability to sleep our moods our ability to exercise and do things so focus on drinking water and i have a lot of people ask me well how much water is enough water Every time you're thirsty, you need to be drinking, okay? Does that mean you should reach for a Coke or a coffee? And I'm guilty, I'm part of the coffees. Coffee addicts are us, okay? I am leader numero uno. Okay, maybe my mom's the president, but love you all, sorry. Anyway, but straight, focus on drinking more water. Just, if you're having difficulty to do it, focus on making small steps like the client in the previous example. Drinking one more bottle, okay? Or adding flavors to it or things of that sort. Just till you make it to where you can find that balance to start drinking enough water. And uh, you know, a good uh, starting point is to focus on drinking like eight glasses, which is a recommendation, but some people need less, some people need more, but it's a ballpark, everybody's unique. Okay, so next thing, fruits and veggies. Uh, You've got to focus on eating more fruits and vegetables. Okay, these guys provide minerals and vitamins that are necessary in your micronutrient profile into your diet, which might help you prevent having micronutrient deficiencies in your body and your ability to perform. So some people have a vitamin D deficiency. Some people have a vitamin B12 deficiency, which affects your energy levels. So if you focus on including more fruits and vegetables in your diet, it's going to help you start to combat any deficiencies you might have. A multivitamin is a great way, but it should not be your end-all be-all solution to that. You should work on incorporating these things into your diet to help with that whole picture. And also these are great ways to help manage your, your weight and they're just all around just better options for you. Okay, one way I like to do this to help teach people to eat more fruits and vegetables is to eat the rainbow every day. So I had a client one time who really struggled with this. So we focused on her taking a picture of each of her meals and then she would send them to me at the end of the day. To, so we'd talk about the different colors that she ate and kind of provide education that way. So focus on eating the rainbow if you struggle with that. Or if you already do that, well then maybe focus on trying a new fruit or vegetable once a week and build it from there so you can try the seasonal veggies and things of that sort. Okay, number three. Well, that was number three. Okay, number four, move it. I like to move it, move it. Figure out how to start moving more, okay? A lot of people will park at the front of a grocery store parking lot. If you do not have that kind of limitation, park in the back of the parking lot and make yourself walk to the grocery store and walk back and then put your cart back in the store, in the cart rack. Not the one in the middle of the parking lot, the one in front of the store. Okay, if now if you're concerned for your safety, that's a whole different ball game, but walk it back in there. Okay, take an extra lap um, when you are in the grocery store or you are um, at lunch. Take a 10 minute walk for your breaks. Uh, there's e you, can, you can go up and down the stairs an extra time if you have the ability to. Just focus on getting more, more movement into your life. A lot of people do where they count their steps every day. That's a great 
indicator to help you gauge how much you're moving. It's just a starting point. So focus on just getting more movement in general into your life, whether in like do a family walk or bicycling or whatever the case may be, just find a way to move. And that's a great starting point. Okay. Don't focus on taking on the whole world of movement. Just focus on something that you can incorporate today and build on to that. Okay. So number five is measure your progress. The big point I want to make clear here is that you should not be afraid of the scale. Okay, if you have a, 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 a condition where you need to visit with somebody like an eating disorder, go get the help you need. But for the rest of the world, we have demonized the scale and we need to realize that this is just a measuring progress. It does, how much you weigh does not equate to what your value is in the world, okay? So just because your weight does goes down doesn't mean your value goes up. The, these are not a relationship. They do not correlate or anything of that sort, okay? So the scale is just to help you measure yourself, okay? That's also why we measure how much inches we're losing, how much weight we are, how much water we're drinking, how we feel, how much sleep we are getting, how much weight we can pick up, how much we can do when we're working out, okay? Those are all measurements that you can use to track your progress. Something else that's really great is a progress picture because you may not see any weight difference on a scale, but you have lost inches and you may look visibly better, okay? So there's just so many things that are in the picture. So do not focus solely on this one measurement, AKA the scale. Let's just go ahead and write that on there. More than one scale, okay? Have more than one measurement to track your progress, okay? Because that's not, you, that is not equate to your value. We are more than just the number on our scale. Figure out how strong you are, how you feel, how does this whole process make you feel? So look at that as a holistic picture and find different ways to track your progress to show how valuable you are and how much better you're feeling outside the scale. But don't be afraid of it. Use it as a tool to learn more about yourself, okay? Number six, find your why. There's gonna come a point in time, no matter how long you've been doing it, or if you're just starting, that something's gonna challenge you in, in causing you to not want to continue to make this change or continue this habit, okay? So you have to remember your why so that way you don't fall suit to this or you know, succeed to this behavior or circumstance or occurrence, okay? So for me, I've lost a lot of people in my life and I've watched a lot of people in my life suffer their health and medical issues because of not taking care of themselves and making poor choices. And one, I don't want to live that way. And two, I want to educate people so that way they don't have similar results, okay? Now we do have to, we are a result of our environment and our genetics, but there's a significant portion that we have an impact on. So that we have to we have to do our part to make sure and you need to figure out what your why is is your why so that way you can chase your kids or see them graduate or be able to see your grandkids graduate or whatever the case may be but determine your why so that way when you have those hard times you will have the motivation to continue or push through whatever obstacle that you're going through at that time okay seven protein is key okay so the the there's a common there's two common guidelines that i have heard and you just need to figure out what works for you one is um, a gram of protein per 2.2 per pounds of body weight or one kilogram or one gram of protein per one, one pound of body weight, okay? I think it's somewhere in the middle um, and that's kind of what the literature is showing at this point in time. But start with that lowest one and build up and if you need more, you can always add more protein into your diet. A lot of time our body craves things for a reason, so if you're craving more protein, that's usually a pretty good indicator. Um, you know, sometimes it'll crave more fat and things of that sort, or it'll be those cravings will be a result of things that we've taken in. Um, I notice for me that I tend to have cravings for like more protein or fat or carbs as an indicator of what my body is deficient in, but that takes time learning your body and how to be self-aware of those things. So if you just start making yourself more aware of those decisions, you can do that. It also correlates to how much fruit and veggies you have, so you can have a, a complex and diverse micronutrient profile. Also, protein is the building blocks of muscles and different body parts within ourselves. And so if you're not putting protein into your body from some source, your body's not going to have the supplies to repair itself or provide any main maintenance to itself. Okay. The big thing is it's called use it or lose it. So if you're not using it and you're not feeding it, you're going to lose it. Okay. So find that happy balance and build up from there. Okay. Number eight is make it fun. 
You are not gonna keep doing something if it is not fun or you don't have a really good why. I choose not to do anything if it's not fun or helping my higher goal, okay? So for me, I always try to challenge myself or I try to make a game of it. I mean, you could go to the park with your children and play. You could go surfing. I mean, the possibilities for this is endless, but find something that you enjoy and so that we can incorporate it into your lifestyle. Taking care of yourself should not be entirely work and it needs to be work because we need it it does require work to invest into ourselves but that doesn't mean everything you do to take care of yourself should be work there should be some things that you're doing to take care of yourself that are fun and that are enjoyable that you can maintain over a long period of time okay so find ways to make it fun uh never mind maintainable steps do not try to take on the whole ship at once okay you've got to start with the rowboat okay and get a sail added to it and then you upgrade to a bigger ship and then a bigger ship and then a bigger ship until all of a sudden you can run that bigger ship and have all the pieces going together so start with whatever your rowboat is and build up from there so that way it's maintainable and you can build up from there okay um no matter anybody you've ever met was in this life anything that's an expert in anything they were a beginner once in their life at one time they couldn't do the thing that they're an expert at and they had to learn that and you need to realize that you are also that same person nobody's better than anybody in this world so start remember have you give yourself the grace and just start okay but give yourself small achievable goals and build up from there have that long term somewhat you know unrealistic goal because it's important to have those dreams and things that we know we can achieve if we just work hard but you also have to find the steps that work for you along the way, okay? If you would have told me when I was in high school that I was going to even be interested in pursuing a master's degree, I would have thought you were crazy. If you told me in high school that I was gonna not only work full time, but go to school full time when I was doing my undergrad and get a bachelor's degree in, in three years, you, I would have told you you were crazy, okay? But you figure out how to make it work and you achieve little goals along the way. Okay, so figure out what those goals are, work toward them every day, and make it maintainable so that way you can have this for a long time in your life, okay? That's what the goal is. The goal is. Last thing is accountability, okay? There's a reason why there are grades in school. There's a reason why we get paychecks for jobs. Um, there's a reason why you, uh, I'm trying to think of a good example here. Um, for little kids, you can bribe them with candy. I don't recommend that. Bribe them with a piece of fruit or a carrot or anything like that. Um, but there's a reason why we have those things. Those are forms of accountability, okay? Figure out a way to hold yourself accountable to the goals that you have and track your progress. Whether it be through support groups, through hiring a personal trainer, through hiring a coach, or through your doctor. They take your measurements and next time you go in there, you have to have lower measurements or you've had some progress. Find some way to hold yourself accountable. If you do not find a way to hold yourself accountable, you're gonna eventually fall off the ship and you're gonna quit rowing toward that goal or sailing toward that goal, okay? Because you're not gonna, nobody's gonna be checking on you and that goal will be kind of slips off the wayside and goes in the back burner and catches on fire if you're like me and cook in the kitchen, things catch on fire because they get back where I can't see them, okay? So don't put it to the back of the stove. Find a way to keep it to the forefront and constantly working at it, okay? Whether, whether it be you invest in yourself by getting a coach or a personal trainer or you join a gym that has an accountability group or a group fitness whatever the case may be find a way to help hold yourself accountable okay so i hope you found these tips helpful if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below if you have anything that you want me to make a video about please comment below i hope you like this video please like and subscribe 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 and i will talk to you next time Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to take uh, a few minutes to talk about some 10, 10, 10, yeah, bleh. why, okay, hey, okay, whether, whether, hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to take a few minutes to talk about 10 simple tips that you can implement into your life today to help you work toward, why, why, what is this, what is this? Okay. Anywho. Okay. Why do I keep saying okay?
is like and subscribe subscribe mother of pearl talking to you. subscribe the struggle